Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I'm going to show you how to create this scene using a particle setup in Blender 2.92. Also, I'll be using a brand new Kitbash kit called Los Angeles, which is available now at kitbash3d.com, so go check that out. Okay, so getting started, I'm going to go ahead and open up the new Los Angeles Blender native file. And I'll wait for this to open. Okay, and I'm going to scroll back. And okay, I'm going to get on the top of this uh, city. Looks good. Okay, the stuff on the left here, I'm not going to use. So I'm just going to select that and delete that. And I'm going to take a look at the city again. And every city on here is going to be linked. So we're going to have to unlink these and join them, which we're going to have to right click, unlink, select the objects in the link which the buildings are coded by letter. So this would all be A and select join and then move it out of the way. So it's cool. So we're going to do it again. Right click, unlink, select B all the way down to you hit C and there you are. And then that's B. And then you're going to right click over here, hit join, and then you're going to move the building. One more time, you're going to right click, unlink, select the objects within the link select right join and move the building i'm going to do the rest of these now okay now that i'm doing the last one i will say that that was some work but it will pay off because it eventually looks great at the end so the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to save the file and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to name this one Particle because that's what we're going to do today. And my next move is I'm going to move these models a little bit closer together. Um, it doesn't really matter where they are, but this is just self-preference. I just want everything a little bit closer together. And after I do that, we're going to set the origins up to be on the bottom of all the models. That for when we make the particle setup, it'll snap to the bottom of the plane. So this looks good. So next, like I said, we're going to go to the origins up at the top here under here. You're going to select origins. Then we're going to select the edge and we're going to use the magnet, which is a snap. I'm going to go one five to the front orthographic. That one's good. That one's good, too. So just drag this to the bottom till it snaps. Now you can go past it, but, you know, just go to the bottom. There you go. Now that one's good. I'm going to grab this one here and put this one on the bottom as well. And then I'm going to finish the rest. Okay. Now I'm going to turn off origins and I'm going to turn off the snap and I'm going to set this back to normal. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to scale it down and I'm going to move it a little bit out of the way. Next, I'm going to make a collection. And I'm going to put the whole city in the collection. The collection is going to be applied to the particle set, set setting. I'm going to name it LA. And that's good. Next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a plane. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to scale this up. This is going to be our particle setup. Okay, we can get this going. Okay, the plane cannot be in cannot be in the collection of the city or else it won't work because you're applying the city to the plane. So now I'm going to create the particle setup, turn the preview off. I'm going to hit hair, advanced, rotation, render, render as. We're going to render as a, as a collection, the collections LA on the global X. And down here, I'm going to select object rotation and then we're going to hit our preview. And that looks pretty good to start with. So that looks good to me. Now, we don't want to run the preview the whole time because it really bogs down your machine. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to go over here and I'm actually going to set up my composition. I'm going to throw the camera in here and I'm going to set it up in camera to view. I'm just going to tweak this around a little bit and uh, see where I want to place this. I want to pull the camera out of the collection as well. That can't be in there. Uh, I'm going to set the focal length on my camera to 15. 
and now I'm in camera to view and I'm still going to tweak this till I get a really cool bird's eye view kind of fisheye angle lens. It'll look really cool once I get done. So I'm just going to zoom in like that, like so. Okay, and then now I'm going to go to my plane and then I'm going to turn the preview on. And that looks good. Now I'm going to jack this up to 5,000, which now it looks extremely crazy. So, okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to turn the preview off. And now I'm going to add, wait a minute, I'm going to turn the camera view off, save it. And now I'm going to add a cube. And the cube is going to be the volume scatter, which is going to be the fog over the city. So basically this cube is going to be the size of the scene. So I'm going to cover the whole city and place some into the camera. So I'm going to scale this on the X and I'm going to scale it on the Y and also on the Z. And then I'm going to go into my camera view and I'm going to see where it lines up with the plane. And over here, I'm going to take this out of the collection. I'm going to go to my plane and I'm going to turn the preview on. So now you can see where the fog hits the actual area of the city. So that's a little high. We'll bring this down. And bring it down. Yeah, and then we're going to scale it a little bit up, scale a little bit out. So it's covering the whole territory. And that looks good. Now I'm going to go to my volume uh, shader editor. Sorry. And we're going to turn the preview off because I don't need it. And I'm going to go to the cube. I'm going to get rid of this. And then I'm going to add a shader, volume shader, or volume scatter. Put that volume in there. Set this to point 0.2 to start. And that's usually where I start it. And I'm going to go down here and make it wireframe so you can see through it now. And I'm going to go back to my plane. And I'm going to turn the preview on. And that's what we're looking at. And has some value in there with the, the fog. So now I'm going to set up some render. This is going to be cycles. I want uh, GPU. Um, I'm going to set the uh, denoising for the render and the viewport. I want it to be optics. And you can see it's running a little chuggy because I have the viewport on of the particle setup. Set that to 32 and I'll leave the lights alone here. And I'm going to go down to color management and I'm just going to put this to medium to high contrast. Okay, so um, render region and crop to render region. And that looks good to me. So let me see. I'm going to add some world lighting. I actually have Pro Skies lighting, uh, the ultimate edition, which is really cool. So now I'm going to go over here and turn the preview off so I can work with some lighting. Yeah, there we go. Now it'll work smoother. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pick some different kind of sky and I'm going to pick an angle and put it on high. And I think that's about it. Yeah, turn the preview on and let's see what we got here. Give it a second to preview. Okay, so the fog's pretty dense, so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to cut this down to 0.02. And we'll change this angle of the lighting. I don't really like the way the angle is on this one. Okay, the fog looks better. The angle's mm, still the same. Let's try this. I'm going to try a different angle. And maybe we can adjust some of the fog here. It is a little, maybe still a little, let's bump it up some actually. There we go. Now that's much better. Um, let's see, we could probably do a different kind of sky here. Let me try like a morning, uh, a morning sky. Let's try that. Okay, that's got more color to it. Okay, let's, let's jack this up to three. Let's jack this up two or jack it up one extra there we go that looks pretty good I like that 
Okay, so next, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into here. We're gonna, I'm actually gonna turn off the preview now that we know we wanna render it. So we don't need that on. So I'm gonna do some render adjustments, 500 samples, and I'm gonna do 38, um, 38, uh, 40 by 2160. And we're gonna render it at that size. And I'm gonna save the document and I'm gonna render. And that looks like a really good render. I'm very happy with that. That looks great to me. Now I'm just gonna save the file and I'm gonna do a little post-production. I'm gonna add a little contrast and some color grading and there's the final image. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. As always, I thank you for your support and uh, I'll catch up with you later, guys. Thanks for watching.